cars. Holly saves the day. Holly Shiftwell, Finn McMissile, Lightning, and Mater were at Buckingham Palace in London. The Queen had invited them to the Royal Ball as her special guests. Holly lowered her front bumper to the floor, bowing to the Queen. Thank you so much for inviting us, Your Majesty. This sure is some fancy party, said Mater. Yes, Holly replied. The Queen's crown jewels are only put on display once a year at this party. They're one of a kind, and priceless, of course. Please gather around for the unveiling of the crown jewels, a royal guard announced. Everyone rolled over to a large display case covered in purple velvet. The guard pulled off the velvet cover. The display case was empty. My crown jewels are gone, cried the queen. Holly began scanning the identification numbers of all the cars in the room to see if any were criminals. If thieves just stole the crown jewels, they may still be here, she said. Quick thinking, Holly, exclaimed Finn. I have a match, Holly said to Finn. Her camera zoomed in on a sneaky-looking car across the room. That's Jimmy Two-Tone, she said. Jimmy Who-Tone, asked Mater. Finn's eyes narrowed. The world's most slippery jewel thief, he said. He must have the jewels, exclaimed Holly. We've got to stop him. The friends raced after the thief into the streets of London. That fella can't outrun my buddy Lightning McQueen, Mater said. Lightning took off, but Two-Tone zipped around the corner and out of sight. Where did he go? cried Lightning. I don't know, Mater said but Two-Tone left his two-toned hubcap down that way. Good job, Mater, Holly exclaimed. She used her high-powered headlights to lead them down a shadowy road. It ended at a construction site. Two-Tone was there. He scowled and knocked over a stack of metal beams before speeding off. He's not getting away that easily, said Holly. She checked her navigation controls. I can calculate a route around the roadblock. Follow me. With Holly's help, the friends were quickly back on Two-Tone's trail. She gasped. He's headed for the tower bridge. Two-Tone ducked through an open gate into one of the bridge's towers. He slammed the gate shut, just as Holly and Finn screeched up to it. The friends were locked out. He's getting away groaned Lightning. Not if I can help it, Holly said. Stand back, everyone. She activated the electroshock device on her front left wheel and zapped the gate's control panel. They were in. The friends raced up the tower. There's nowhere for him to run now, Holly said. Careful, team, Finn added. A cornered criminal is the most dangerous kind. At the top, Holly, Finn, Mater, and Lightning closed in on the thief from all sides. Hand over the jewels, Two-Tone, Holly demanded. Two-Tone grinned wickedly. He gunned his engines and drove backward off the tower bridge. Suddenly, he released a parachute from his roof. He's floating away, cried Lightning. It's not over yet, said Holly. She extended her wings and took off after Two-Tone. Holly caught up to Two-Tone in a flash and clamped onto his bumper. She forced him to land on the riverbank. Let go of me, Two-Tone said, squirming. Finn, Lightning, and Mater drove up. Well done, Holly, Finn exclaimed. Now let's see what's in his trunk, shall we? They popped it open, and there were the crown jewels. After Two-Tone was safely in jail, the friends returned the crown jewels to the queen. Miss Shiftwell saved the day, Finn said. Several times, added Lightning. The Queen awarded Holly a special Medal of Honor. Woo-wee, exclaimed Mater. Looks like Holly got a crown jewel of her own.